with food. Thank you, Jennifer. In today's consumer he he headlines, 4th of July celebrations kick off tomorrow and many will be celebrating with fireworks. Uh, but those loud popping sounds could cause some trouble for the pets. We all know that. Amy Davis is with us. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. So I was surprised that emergency vet visits actually skyrocket on the 4th of July. They say by 48%. Uh, that number is from wow. the ASPCA. They say some of the reasons for those visits, pet injuries from fireworks, Aww. and pets also, as you said, can get scared or disoriented by the sound, causing unnecessary stress. It's also not a good idea, they say, to feed your dog scraps from the grill. Mm -hmm. Any change in their diet could cause digestive issue. That's another reason people go in. And then you would do you think about this? Never leave alcoholic drinks unattended where your pets can reach them. They would drink them. Yeah. Like the old movie Turner and Hooch when the dog uh, drank yeah, a beer. Yeah, I guess so. That? So Independence Day is the third most disruptive day of the year at emergency vet offices behind Christmas Day and then New Year's Day. Always when there's Those a party. Right. Yeah. Exactly, right? And you're not paying attention. Get about the exactly. dog. Exactly. Well, as drivers hit the road this holiday, they can expect to pay less at the pump than this same time last year. That's even with the shutdown of a major refinery and new gasoline taxes in many states. Gas prices are up an average of seven cents a gallon nationally nationally since the Philadelphia Energy Solutions refinery shut down June 21st after an explosion and fire there. But the cost of a gallon of gas should still be about 10 cents lower all around the country this time around. Toyota has notified U.S. dealerships that it has now expanded its Prius recall to include models made in 2018. The automaker pulled almost 800,000 Priuses in 2014 because of a defect in its electronic power system. Well, Toyota attempted to fix the problem by modifying its software, but that supposedly did not stop the system failures. Uh, so now if you've got a 2018 Prius, you're going to be receiving a notice that it also needs repairs. Software update would have been really easy, but now I guess you got to call everything back in. And, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Amy.